the legumes and the pulses from lowest in protein to the highest in protein. This is per half cup of cooked legumes. Coming in at the 13th spot, we have green peas or sweet peas at about four grams of protein per serving. Next in the 12th spot, we have black eyed peas. Black eyed peas coming in at about six to seven grams of protein per serving. Next we have mung beans, also at about six to seven grams of protein per serving. After that, there is fava beans at six to seven grams of protein per serving. In the nine spot, we have pinto beans. Pinto beans at about six to seven grams of protein per serving. In the eight spot, chickpeas, aka garbanzo beans, also at about six to seven grams of protein per serving. In the seventh spot, lima beans, about seven to eight grams of protein per serving. In the sixth spot, navy beans. These are the beans that are often used in baked beans. Navy beans, about seven to eight grams of protein. Cannellini beans, AKA white kidney beans, about seven to eight grams of protein in those as well. In the fourth spot, we have our traditional red kidney beans, also at about seven to eight grams. In the three spot, our good old classic black beans, also at about seven to eight grams of protein per serving. And then in our two spot, lentils, at around seven to nine grams of protein per serving. This encompasses all of the different types of lentils. So you have red lentils, yellow lentils, brown lentils, green lentils, uh, even black lentils. And then in the number one spot, can anyone guess? If you know, then you know that it is edamame. Edamame coming in at nine to 10 grams of protein per serving and is also the only complete source of protein on this list in this category. Edamame are young soybeans. That's you know why they're green in color. And so that rounds out our legumes and pulses list. Next category, we have our nuts. And this will be nuts per one fourth cup serving. Coming in at the nine spot, macadamia nuts. Not very high in protein, only two grams per serving.